Well, this is the one we've been waiting for. We being Martin Tyler and Alan Smith in the commentary box, and you, of course, ready to watch the game unfold. Yeah, I can't wait for this one. The featured game, Circle Bruges against Bruges. Just a quick word on this super scoring season for the visiting team today. Well, oh, they've been full of goals and coming from all areas of the pitch too. And the lineup for the home side goes like this. I think that back four is really important for them. They've got to be strong and solid, but they've got a bit of protection, haven't they? They have. They should have more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders in their own rights, but uh, in front of them, they've got players who are going to be working really hard. Whether they could be a threat on the front foot, we'll wait and see. And this is how the opposition will line up. This is the way they like to play, isn't it? And it does allow them, with three at the back, to have two main attackers up front, which is a little bit unusual these days. Well, you look at that formation, you could interpret it as being a little negative, especially if that holding midfielder in front of the back three doesn't venture too far forward. But uh, an onus on the wide men as well to support those two lads up front. Good place to win the ball here. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. Bruno. Here's a chance to just stretch the opposition with a bit of width. Oh, that's good defending. Got to be. Not really tested the goalkeeper, but sometimes it can look a bit too easy. He made sure he made the save competently. Yeah, he did, and he doesn't make too many mistakes, this lad. And shoots! That's a good block. Got to pass the ball a bit better than this if they're going to make progress, giving it straight away. Well, this could be dangerous in a wide position. Good clearance. Dennis. What about this for a shot? Optimistic. Traore looking to win it back. work really to read the intention of the pass and here's the shot up for grabs here now a chance to get a bit of width into this attack Amrabad well now they've won the ball back in the middle of the park by intercepting that pass Quick-witted and quick in his movement, too, to intercept there. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Bruno. Mercier. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. Came in with a challenge. That's really the way to get the ball out of the danger zone. Amrabad. And now they've got the ball, what are they going to do with it? Goalkeeper is there for him and he's played it to him. Good vision. Real chance. And he scored! Made the most of the last few seconds of this half. Yeah, and he certainly changes the dynamics of this match. I don't think they would want the half-time whistle to come, though. Well, let's take another look at the goal.
So the first goal, it's 1-0. And the verdict on added time is two minutes. Mercier. So it's 1-0 here as the half-time whistle goes. Well, we had the big moment really just before half-time, Alan, didn't we? Everything set for the second half. Doing well to keep the ball. Mercier. They've lost the ball and the counter-attack could be there. Well, he's got support here. Break still on. Dangerous pass, I think. With... Oh, it's an offside decision. Well, the players can't believe it, and neither can the crowd, but it's the right decision. That's his game, isn't it? Intercepting. Mercia. Attacking now. Mercier. Now he can cross it. Hazard. A low cross into the area. Threw everything behind that shot. And frustrated that it wasn't quite on target. Well, if he keeps getting in those kind of areas, I'm sure he'll score pretty soon. Run it back with an interception. Loose. Goalkeeper made the save, but he couldn't hold it. Well, that's proper defending. They can't score from there. It's out of play. Yeah. Well, they're still trailing, and they need to do something now if they want. Real opening now. Two in front now. Well, keep the concentration, and they've won this match, I think. Well, he's doubled up here with his second goal, and he took it in excellent style, just like the first one. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. And it's been an hour of very good football here. We've still got 30 more minutes to go, and I'm sure we're going to enjoy that as well. Good position, they've worked this attack very well. Shot's on here. He's blocked the shot well. Well, that'll be a throw. Mercier. Guiding it through. A decent fist away by the keeper. Play. Nothing like for a manager seeing a goal like that, real team effort, great understanding between those lads down there. They are playing well, their superiority increased really with this goal. Well, you can only see more goals coming their way, the way they play. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? I don't think we expected this. Such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. Traore, Mercia. And now the shot! Hit it hard, <laughs> but not very true. Just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch. Well defended, not just getting across, he thought quickly as well. Put in from the wide area. Oh, very easy for the goalkeeper there.
blocked it then. This has been called a football match, but it hasn't been much of a match-up between the two sides. The winners conclusively at their best, and the losers just aching to hear the final whistle now. Well, he clears the danger. Dennis. Good play. The shot's on! That's great work by the goalkeeper. Dennis. This is how they love to play on the break. He's tried to hit this one too hard, Alan, hasn't he? Oh, I think he shanked it, Martin. Miles off target in the end. here referee says that's that well it's turned out to be a demolition derby hasn't it Alan yeah it's been a lot more 